Are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are, are, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Brothers in Cursive. Here's David Lucas and Lily Montgomery. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? I am in makeup because I lost a bet on Patreon. So, uh,. Everybody's talking about that the November 3rd election is the imp- most important thing to vote on. I think this Patreon shit is the most keep important. Keep sinking David. No, don't keep fucking going keep, after no, David. Do not do that shit. I don't you, I think they're going to go after you. You think, you think I like being in makeup? You look pretty. <laughs> no, bro, fuck that. I mean, you do. I think surprisingly you look, you look really good. <laughs> You look like, like somebody I would holler at. It, it, it really, it's really bringing out your like eyes, and it's really bringing out your skin. How nice your skin! Is. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> I, I really, love it, I and really it looks really. like Redman could actually have that hair. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Redman. I believe he would actually have that hair. Redman has 1970s phone operator hair. 1970s Ohio phone operator. You know the ones where they used to actually take the thing out and put it. You want to talk to Texas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how did that work? How did that work? I don't know, bro. You see I, it in movies. Yeah, how did that work? I don't know. You just got to know what state to plug it into. <laughs> Can you imagine you do all that fucking, all that work for a motherfucker not to pick up? <laughs> they, Hell no. They're not at home where you do all that work. That's a nightmare. That shit would suck. That's bad. A phone operator. I haven't thought about that in years. Bro. Operator. Right. Huh? Operator. Is that the only way you used to be able to make calls was to call the operator? I think back in the day, yeah, you used to have to be like, Operator, hook me up with Janice operator. McClain. <laughs> Janice McClain in Macon, Georgia. Yeah. And then remember remember when you used to have to call information, like you wanted a phone number? Like, I need the phone number to Chuck E. Cheese. Is that 311? It was uh, 411, right? I've had a search engine since I was in the fifth grade, fourth grade. Ask, what search engine then? Ask G's. I remember Ask Jeeves. <laughs> well, I'm talking about before that. You guys were oh, even yeah. alive. Right? You remember Lycos? Did you ever use Lycos? Yeah. What's that? A computer thing? It was a, it was a search engine thing. It was? Yeah. And I do, just right off the bat, uh, want to give it up for Glassics.co. 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 Um, Glassics.co. Thank you so much. Let's see how this bong erupts. <laughs> rip let's, it up, dude. Let's hear that rip, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Rip it, bro. Is that crack smoke? Woo! <laughs> Go to glassics.co for the best bogs around. That's a pretty bong, bro. It's a really nice It bong. is. Look at this thing. I guess all bongs I see are normally dirty. Yeah, exactly. Is that what it is? Because this one's just so nice. This I, is new. But it'll be ugly soon, huh? I'm really? going to clean it. I'm going to keep it clean. How? Like, what a, What will you clean that with? Your dick? What? You use salt and... I wish. <laughs> yeah, I also think like that juice you can buy at head shops. It's like bomb juice. Ju- like you, put, you can like, use like salt and uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. And just put it in there? Yeah, and swish it around. And let it do its thing. Let it do its thing at all. Hey, I'm proud of my boy uh, Will, bro. Show him your new kicks. Oh, yeah. You got some new kicks. Oh, take, yeah. I got take some. Them all, uh, the Hospital Blue Yeezys. And you think they're real? Yeah, they're very real. I checked them out. Yeah. Let me see. Cost me two thousand dollars on eBay. You're a fucking idiot if you paid two thousand dollars for these. <laughs> yeah, usually you can check by inside, like the tags and stuff like that, and uh, yeah. if you lift up the. Everything seems legit, bro. Does it? Mm-hmm. They're comfy. It's weird how they uh, slide in the back and also are a little too tight in the front, though. Yeah, Yeezys, bro. Like on certain styles of Yeezys, I have to order like a half a size bigger if they offer a half a size. I just got the slides, and I had to do a 13, and I wear a 12. That's why I always yeah. order wide shoes. Like, a lot of places you can get wide shoes. Like, if you can order a regular shoe, like, let's say, 11 and a half, mm-hmm. but you could order 11 and a half wide. I, th- I forget yeah. who does it. Like I do. New, new Balance does a lot new of balance, wide shoes. New Balance yeah. does it, yeah. I like I, some New Balance. I wish Yeezys had wide, because my feet be hurting in some of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Do they? Hell yeah, bro. Like, when you get to, like, what is it, the 700s? Or Jordan 1s. Oh, yeah. Those are horrible, dog. Jordan, What's up with those? Jordan 1s? Yeah. yeah. They hurt. They're not, <laughs> if you got a wide foot, the Jordans you want to go for are like the 4s, the 12s, the 7s, the 8s. What are those numbers the 13s, mean? Uh, the order that they came out. Oh. I saw that Jordan documentary on Netflix. Have y'all seen that? Yeah, bro. I did not know Phil Jackson was like that. He's a fucking hippie. He is. Yeah, he's a fucking hippie, dog. 
He, he is. seemed like a cool ass dude, bro. I know. It'd be cool to meet him. Think he'd ever get on the podcast? Shit. We could probably ask him. What you? What, what, if, if Phil Jack? Pretend I'm Phil Jackson. What are the three questions you ask him first? Uh, what kind of car are you currently driving? Uh, 2008 Tahoe. Um, what's your favorite Shel Silverstein poem? Seashells by the seashore. That's a good one. Uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, probably light black. I love light black. Or dark black. What's light black gray? No, it's light black. It's like right before midnight. Right but be- when the sun But out- what does it look like? Still black or is it kind of a gray color? It's light black. I don't get it. It's light black. Black's not really a color either. It's the absence. What do you mean it's not a color? It's the absence, absence of color. color. Is that what space is filled with? Mm-hmm. Light black. What if when we go to space we find out those are like alien eyes? I don't know what I would do. Because they say what? When we see a star, it already burnt out like 300 years ago, right? Yeah. I think it's longer than 300 years ago, but it's a while ago. 3,000 years ago. 3 million years ago. 3 billion. 3 billion years ago. It's probably closer to that. Bro, this wig is itchy. It looks good. (laughs) It looks good on you. It matches your eyes. No, get the fuck out of here. It does match your eyes. You look like Wendy. Wendy. You, look you do look like Wendy. Wendy. What color is your hair, motherfucker? Sherbert orange. Sherbert orange? Yup. I wouldn't say Sherbert orange. I said it. God, he looks like somebody. It? Who does he look like? <laughs> he looks like somebody famous, like a... A Flintstone or some shit. Oh, no. It's like... <laughs> like a nigga a in bed. Flintstone? <laughs> you look like a nigga in bedrock. <laughs> Whoa! Have you gotten better? It sounds like you're sick. Uh, vaping. How is it? Good. Cool. <laughs> <clears throat> How's your daughter doing? She cool, bro. She's not gonna. She didn't. Did y'all me. go to San Diego? Yeah. How was that? Was that fun? It was fun as hell. The owner actually made the club very friend, uh, kid friendly. He made. Did the, you meet the owner? Because last green, time we went, the, the owner room. was nowhere to be found. The green room very kid friendly. No. Yeah, what's up with that? Guy? But he's dope as shit, bro. Uh, yeah, he seems nice. He thought I was talking shit about the club. Was I, because he brought me down to headline, and I complained about the fact that there were nine other comics before I went up. But I'm like, I feel like as the headliner, I had to address that. I couldn't just allow nine other people to come up, and I was like, don't call me. What, was this like, this past Saturday? I mean, yeah. it, is, it is ridiculous. Nine people. <laughs> I've never heard that my whole entire life. <laughs> yeah, it sounded I, I, like it, a Sometimes <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, there's four people, right, it you was know? Nine. <laughs> but they were, only, they were doing like six minutes, but still, though, that adds up. Did the crowd start leaving? No. They stayed the whole... Brother. Plus, that's that's also so many people that could step on your jokes. That's the right. big problem. Right. You know? Yeah. You talk about the same shit, and you don't you don't pay attention to those people, so you come up there... And like the same shit. Okay. Right. That's why I like headlining. That happens to me almost every time I go on stage. That is a People fucking, are you getting can't. me on taking jokes. I just spent 30 bucks on the ecstasy. The least you can do is buy the movie tickets. That's that was an, fun. You were. I was looking at you... <laughs> At the comedy store on Monday, it was fun to go up on there. Yeah, it was fun. Behind the glass. Yeah. Just one piece of shit was looking at me funny, man. I hated that Who? fucking guy. Who? I don't know. The guy at my table? No, not the guy at your table. The guy on the table in front of you gave me the creeps. I hated it. <laughs> Who? He's having a great set. Some guy was just eyeing me. Yeah, you did bad. have a good, very good set. <clears throat> I wonder how long that was. You were there like 12, 13 minutes. Think I got my swagger back. I don't feel. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <clears throat> with how random, with how random you are on stage, and like your use of like short to the punch jokes, like the one liners, I don't feel like time off stage would like harm you that much. You, do you feel it would or would? Right, I don't think so. I would just need to do it so I could remember what I'm gonna say. Because mm-hmm. I'll forget shit, bro. How hard is it m- memorizing? All those fucking one-liners when you're doing a long set. It's a nightmare. I've already started losing <laughs> my memory a little bit. Really? It scares me. I probably shouldn't even tell y'all this. What's I've that? already started losing my memory. What's that shit Michael Lara talk about? That 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 mushroom tea? Isn't it mushroom tea? What about it? Is like it alpha? You, was it alpha male or alpha? Alpha brain. Or alpha brain. Al- I mean, shroom tech. Whatever. Shroom track. Yeah. Shroom tech. Shroom tech. Oh, shroom tech. What is that? <laughs> it's supposed to like help your brain. You think it does? I mean, look how sharp Michael Lara is. Yeah. He said he takes it. I think Tony takes it, doesn't he? I don't know. 
Hard to say. Shrimp track. Shrim tech. Shrim track. Shrim track. Oh, shroom tech. Shroom tech. Shrim track. Yeah, none of you motherfuckers can get this shit. Is, this wig, bro. Uh, I don't you see, just flick your hair. That I don't was see hot. How people, I love it. <laughs> I don't see how people fucking wear wigs, dog. This shit is itchy. Jeremiah, shout out to you for wearing wigs throughout a whole two hour episode yeah, of Kill his, Tony. His face must just be like an elbow, just dead inside. Yeah. You know, just. Can right. you imagine ladies? <laughs> you can never really scratch an itch on an elbow. Do you notice that shit, William? Yeah. It's funny. How what? You can never really scratch an itch on an elbow because, like, you can never get it good on your elbow. Yeah, that shit. Sucks. I've never thought about it. You Is can't. that true? Or your kneecap? I've never thought about it. Try Is that it, a dog. true thing, bro? I've never, Have you ever? Do you know about I'm that? Try it right now. How are you gonna try to itch your elbow? You can't really. Like get in there, you know, like on yeah, your I know you're on about. your thigh. You ha- sometimes you have to like pinch it. Your yeah, elbow. dog, it's weird. It's <laughs> sometimes weird. my back itches and I can't reach the intro of my back. You it. better go up and get a uh, get a brick wall, hit it bear style. Yeah, I was thinking of uh, what's the beer's name in uh, that Disney movie? Blue, blue, <laughs> love him. <laughs> that big ass nigga. I love him. Or was it Mowgli? Mowgli was the boy, huh? Mowgli was the Indian boy. And what was the boy? Shere Khan. Shere Khan. The tiger. Love him. Say tiger. Tiger. T-I-G-A-H. Tiger. If I were president, I would rewrite the American Dictionary. What's, what would you do? Make it more like the Urban Dictionary? Yep. Tiger. What would the definition of that be? The same shit it is for a Tiger. Oh, just so just a regular up. tiger. Yeah. Anything that got a hard R, I change it to AH, kind of like nigga. You should. You have every right to do that. <laughs> right. You try we to sh- do it, William. You try to do it right now. Do what? Try to try to take that those letters away. <laughs> For figure, figure. I make six figures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a six figure nigga. <laughs> Pull the trigger. I've been hitting this a wonderful classics dot nah, co bot. I'm kidding. Don't keep deferring. I'm just don't saying keep defer- I bought. I'm not going to say that. Nah, don't get away from it. You know you want to say the N word. I heard you say it before. Something's going to slip. Yeah, I mean, I say it all the time in my bedroom when I'm by myself. <laughs> just all the time. In what way? Having fun. In what way? Just. What's up, buddy? It's all you. Nick. And then, yeah. <laughs> you just drop it. Yeah. Like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. I love that. Bro, did you see that they changed the name of Uncle Ben's rice? To what? Ben's original. <laughs> Why is that? Because they're dumb, bro. And they took What's my- wrong with Uncle Ben? I guess it was racist. I don't know. Too racist. But Uncle, everybody has an uncle. Do- Red Band, do you have an uncle? Yes. But, but, but the thing is. Yeah, everybody's got uncle an uncle. Uncle John. But the thing uncle is, John? I only know white people that buy Uncle Ben's. You don't buy Uncle Ben's? No. The rice packets, what do you put them in the microwave? No, I don't fuck with Uncle Ben. What do you fuck with in regards to rice? Regular rice and make my own seasonings, bro. Basmati? Basmati, jasmine, long grain jasmine. Do you like jasmine? I hate it. <laughs> that shit smells so good. It smells like popcorn. It smells better than it. It's just, like Indian. I just like Indian. Ri- rice when it has like a hard one in it. And you're like, why is there a hard one in it? Usually yeah. jasmine rice. Ooh. I suck at cooking rice, bro. I had to get how a rice How do you cooker. do it? See, I don't know how to do it. I had That's to hard, a, isn't I had it? to get a rice cooker, dog. I suck at cooking rice. I just get the microwave packets. You just throw them in the microwave. The Uncle Ben's. Is that what it is? Yeah, Uncle Ben's has the... I do the frozen white rice, like from Trader Joe's and shit, and you just throw it in the microwave. But I don't Frozen? Get- yeah, like it's in the frozen section and come in little plastic bags and you can just put it in a bowl when you're ready to eat. Put it on like 90 seconds and that shit ready, dog. Put your seasonings in there, a little butter. Is whatever. it expensive? Nah, it's probably like $3 for like a, a full pack box. I just, I just pick up Janice and shake her. <laughs> Jesus. Over I a bet bo- you Over did. a bowl. <laughs> God, and all the rice comes out. I know, tons of rice. <laughs> all the fucking rice comes out of her pockets. Don't hell it. <laughs> She has a bunch of jazz, <laughs> long grain jasmine rice in her fucking, fucking pockets. No, it's white rice. It's- is it Janice? What is it? It's a medley. She's not listening. It's a rice medley. <laughs> Don't hella Asians get bit like picking rice? What? Bit by what? <laughs> Snakes and shit. I don't know. That's shit. It could be. Janice! She's- Do hella Asians get bit picking rice? Google it, Red right, Man. Do Asian? Do a lot of Asians get? Uh, what kind of rice would fall out of you if we shook you? I think some wild sushi black rice. rice, sushi rice, like a white rice. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, like a white rice. And what's so good about rice? I mean, what is it? It has a lot of starch in it? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what does starch do? Stick to you. Yeah. Make it you does? fat. They use it in um, starch to starch your clothes. Is it the same starch? I was thinking about the starch that you starch your clothes with. I think with. it's the same, like, breakdown, however that should go. Yeah, I wonder how that works. Let's see. The lowdown <laughs> yeah. on noceums. This nigga really tight. Do hella Asians get bit? No, I... <laughs> 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 no, bro. Type rice field attacks. Uh, it probably is something like that. Rice field. That was a funny thing you searched for. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you buy bit? Golden rice attack. No, that's oh, just, just, just no. a rice attack. Yeah. Why, what that? makes you think this? Like, what? Where, where are you? It just to- seems like the perfect breeding ground for rodents, and what follows yeah. rodents. Yeah, nice. it's, the only thing I see is uh, attacked by birds. Type in snakes. They got to get bit by snakes. Rice field attack snake? Yeah. Attack snake. See? Two big snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you? This might not be real. Though. Poor boys walk on the rice fields to see two big snakes. <laughs> Dumb bitches are big. Is that what rice that looks cool? like? Yeah, I don't think that's what rice looks like. like. I thought rice fields had like hella water in it. Why would I think? I thought you pick rice. Don't you pick rice? Like, do you pull yeah, that, that green shit like up? Grass. Where's the rice though? At the end of their in the underground? Where's the actual rice? What kind of snake is this? this is like Why a is python? this kid like fucking with a snake too? This is not throwing so dirt clods at him. This is not dirt clods. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dirt clod. Do you think that snake is? Do you think that snake is domesticated? Do you think you know how to cook? Hell this no, shit? it's not domesticated. That's I wouldn't a, guess. That's a horse snake. That's why these motherfuckers get be, be getting towed up over there because they be walking around rice fields and sandals. Yeah, what would be better? Maybe aqua socks? They are fucking sh- abusing this nigga. Leave that snake alone, boy. They already killed one. What yeah, that about? one's not moving. <laughs> they did already kill one. <laughs> he fucking with a snake. That's with sad. Snake. This yeah, is this sad. Is. This turned pretty sad. I know, I don't I'm know. surprised this video is not taken down. And I'm surprised this snake ain't struck one of these motherfuckers. No, that other snake's living. Is it? Yeah, he's moving. It looked like it was. Though. Get his ass. Get that little nigga. Yeah, I hope the snakes get him. That would be cool. Anaconda Part Leave 3. Alone. Yeah, these motherfuckers are crazy, bro. Probably a husband and wife snake. I love Just snakes. out having a good time, and then these people come up. Look at them. <laughs> the fuck is... What is wrong with these kids? <laughs> and y'all say American kids is bad. Yeah, this is horrible. When he when he constrict on your ass, you ain't gonna be able to do shit. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his little ass. That'd be a scary way to die. Constricted by a snake? Yeah. Snake constricting you? Look at that shit. He don't even know if this nigga poisonous or not. I love the title of this, by the way. It's what? Poor Boys Walk right. on the Rice Fields. <laughs> poor Boys My Ass. Poor, poor Boys. Yeah. That's a, I don't know if I believe that, that one. Yeah, I wonder how the actual rice, does it come underneath the grass? I wonder how the rice is. Yeah, let's, can you pull up a rice field? Jesus, this shit is aggy. A rice field? See, there it is. Video unavailable. Saltinas. Uh, I love some saltinas. Were they in Texas? <laughs> Bro, his shit white as fuck out there working. How is that possible? You see how white I his clothes know. are? Yeah. Well, I guess it looks like it's long, long stalks of like what looks like hay. William. Rice farming TV. Did you see his hat? This ain't real rice farming, though. Yeah, this is like Texas or some shit, bro. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? We're just trying to see how fucking rice is made. <laughs> Put rice field like a real rice field. Yeah. The real rice field. Yeah, I want to see. Put Asia. That's what you got. The real do. rice fields plus Asia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, this still not it. Yeah. See, it's the little pieces of grass. So where the rice? The at? rice is, I think, at the bottom of the grass. Like a potato. There we go. Look at that water. And water buffalo. Buffalo de agua. Buffalo de agua. 
See, look how wet that shit is. Yeah, you grab it with your hands, I think. Look, it looks like grass. But where's the rice? At the bottom? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I think you're right. Look at them. It'd be a hot job, probably. I think I'd rather pick cotton. I hear you. That seems weird being in the water. <laughs> Picking cotton would be like soft. You could just lay down yeah, and be like comfortable and stuff. That shit ain't soft. That's probably that how it happened. You ever seen real cotton before? <laughs> this shit just. I like, have. I had a buddy from Tunica, Mississippi, growing up, and I would go spend the night at his place, and they had cotton fields. Cotton's not soft until you process it. It has seeds in it. You got to get the seeds out. You got. You got. Then you got to worry about bowl weevils. Yeah, let's give it up for Eli Whitney. He made the first cotton gin. Yep. Thank you, Eli Whitney. He made black people not useful anymore. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> Took away the jobs. Right. That's like computers these days. It's like <laughs> AI these days. <laughs> Jesus, bro. This fucking wig, bro. By the way, the pull for this episode was very close for you guys to wear wigs. Uh, but second place was sitting on the how floor. How am I supposed to get up? That was gonna be if I'm sitting on the floor, how am I going to sit up? Why did, y'all, why did y'all put that That would have been a nightmare. Would sit down, Willie. I want to see what it would look like if you were to sit down Trying on the ground. Trying to sit up? No, sit down on the ground and try to do a podcast for just a second. I want to see what it would look like if you were this sitting down on the wig, ground. fucking wig, bro. Where to be with this? Never, you sit you, you'll be sitting down and then... Uh, I'd rather eat that fucking hot candy and have it over with in 10 minutes. I just want to see if your face would like be popping up. I don't know what we like. <laughs> yeah, what a dumbass idea. <laughs> yeah, it's very... That would have been funny. They have just you... looking up the whole time like this with the camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be stupid. Look how funny it looks. <laughs> Too scared to talk. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a little boy. <laughs> your ass, your ass is really on the fucking floor. Just looking like a little boy. <laughs> Mama. Mama. <laughs> Are you crisscrossed applesauce? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad the wigs won one because yesterday, oh, you almost knocked the ball. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, what God. the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just you knocked doing? over Joe Rogan, a teenage mutant. I didn't ninja. do that. I didn't do that. What was winning yesterday? What are you saying? Oh yeah, the w- sitting on the floor was winning yesterday. What would you have done, David? So, uh, would you have done that? I would have had to, bro. It would have been funny, though. <laughs> Where would the microphones be? Just what, on the, the ground? The microphones we, we would have on the to ground. The Holding ground. them up? These things are heavy. No, That's fucked. Fuck. I couldn't have done that. I would have laid down. That could be funny. I would have laid my ass down, bro. Did y'all, did y'all see... Um, Dave? Excuse me. Did y'all see Dave Chappelle's Emmy speech? No. Where he basically... He, he was oh, like, yeah, yeah. comedy's finally comedy. And I hope it stays that way. He's basically shitting on all the fucking cancel culture people. Nice. No, I did not. Yeah, that sounds bro. interesting. I did not. And then he was talking about Stan Lathan, who directed everything for 40 years. St- whom? Stan Lathan. Oh. There's, I don't know. There, I kind of, I kind of like... There's a snippet can- we can watch. I kind we'll, of like cancel culture. Listen to it, Will. Boy, okay. It comes as a complete surprise. <laughs> Smoking, what is he, a cigarette smoker? Yeah. I mean, I read all the reviews and they said so many terrible things. They were embarrassed for me. I had lost my way. It wasn't even worth watching. I hope all you critics learn from this. This is a teachable moment. Shut the fuck up forever. Yeah. Right. We need freedom of I hear you. I don't like critics. I feel like critics are fuck bad. critics. He's a hell of a cigarette smoker. That's it. Two of the night. Love it. These aren't them. These are the ones I want for the other ones. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I would like and to somewhere in that crowd is David Deere. Unfortunately, he did not win, but I, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I should have talked so much shit to David Deary. He knows I love him. He'll never invite you over. Uh, well, he already I'm has. I'm going to email Darnell. I'm going to uh, write Darnell and be like, hey, bro, let me come do a set at the camp, nigga. Where is that, Ohio? Yep. Have you ever been to Ohio? I have. Have you read Ben? I'm kidding. I know you're from there. I'm joking. I got family in Cleveland, bro. I've been there quite a few times. Are you a Browns fan? Who is? Nobody in Cleveland is even even a (laughs) fan. I in Ohio was. (laughs) Who do people like in Ohio? What pro Ohio State. Ohio State Buckeyes. That's their pro team. There's another pro team, though, isn't there? No. No. 
You think about the Bengals. Bengals. The Bengals. The yeah. Bengals I always forget yeah. about the Bengals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not Cincinnati. Bad. Don't they're, not, they're, still... they're not bad. I like them better than the Browns. What's, but... the, what's the wide receiver from Georgia that they got? Um, Georgia. AJ Green. AJ Green. Is he still there? Florida Gators used to dominate. I am. I'm very much so looking forward to this weekend college football starting for the SEC. Yeah. Florida, pl- Florida plays Ole Miss at nine. Did you see? I'll be watching that. Did you see who Bama's starting quarterback is? What some Mac Jones? Who's that? Somebody. Uh, we're not gonna do well this year, bro. That's all. <laughs> Who's Mac take Jones? Take the camera off of me. I don't yeah, take the camera off of me. Get the camera off of me. You look good, bro. I look like shit in this fucking wig. You look good. I look like shit. I'm seeing it now. You look good. I hate what I'm wearing right now. You look good. It needs to be on you. Bro. Do a wig swap, boys. But in Wig swap? No, no. Not, come on, not here. But in further news. <laughs> not here. In, in further news, you heard about the uh, the thing in uh, with the Breonna Taylor. They found the cops not guilty. He was only guilty of... What was it? Wanton? How you say that shit? It looks like wanton. Wanton. But it's like wanton. Or wanton. That's the word that was used. Yeah. He was found guilty of like wanton. Wanton. I wonder what the... Uh, whatever the fuck it is. I wonder... What is that? Jail Wan- time? Wanton. How do you say that shit? Wanton, I would say. Wanton endangerment. Was that like reckless endangerment? He shot bullets into another car. I mean, another car. He shot bullets into another house. So did the person who killed her, they did not get in trouble? <clears throat> not at all. At first, they had charged her um, her boyfriend with her murder. But I guess they dropped the charges after Damn. You know everything went on. Yeah, it would suck to be in your apartment. But you were, you were telling me the boyfriend, it sounded like, was not a great person. Uh, from what I read, it's not to like, justify what happened. No, she, but I didn't know that. Absolutely, I thought it was some random apartment. Absolutely, she should not be dead. But uh, from what I've read, her boyfriend was not uh, involved in the most legal activities, which you know is still not justifiable to murder somebody. But uh, you, it's 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 hard. To speak on because so many people are emotional right now in the time that we're in because of so many murders of black individuals at the hand. I know Red Band us. Police. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Red Band wants more. He wants more. That's what scares me about <laughs> Right. It. Whoa! What was that? A predator noise? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's an emotional time, dog. So that was know. a predator noise. You see uh, Brian Callen uh, suing the rape accuser's husband. You ruined my career. Look at this. Oh, shit. It, it, do we get to hear a video? I don't think there's a video. Why is he suing her husband? Uh, comedian Brian Callen claims his rape accuser's husband is waging a war to destroy his livelihood as an actor and a stand-up comedian through imitation. He So he claims a new lawsuit. Callen, best in, well, we know who Callen is, is suing Gabriel T- Tigerman, the husband. It's uh, Tigerman. Tiger Man. <laughs> Tiger Man. <laughs> the husband of Catherine Tigerman, who recently publicly accused uh, Callan of raping her back in 1999. Callan claims that the accusations came to light. Gabriel's been on the warpath to destroy his career through threats, harassment, intimidation of anyone who dares to hire him. So I guess he's like taking it to the extreme level, like really, like probably like writing letters to like. Let's you know, look Netflix up what Gabriel like Tiger Man looks like. Yeah. Does he look intimidating? Bro, how the fuck can... Oh, my God, bro. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing in 1999. Yeah, I know. I was 12. Dogs. Hi. That's him? There he is. He looks like the type that'll fucking send a fucking something to somebody about... He's known for Charlie Wilson's war in 2007. What is that? 13 years ago. Something new in 2006. And Supernatural. So who's the chick? 2005. I love Supernatural. Can we see the chick? Uh, well, oh, the there ch- she is. Catherine Fiore. Yeah. The the girl is actually somebody that Callan used to work with on news radio. I, or or Mad TV. I'm sorry. So can we see her thing? I just heard rape, but does she have like a breakdown or? Uh, Yeah, I, I, I forget. So I wonder if he did that or not. Here we go. I know nothing about any of it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hard to say. Accused Brian of count of rape and sexual misconduct. Uh, 
So she's basically trying to Joey Diaz him oral sex in exchange for money and stage time. But how will she prove this? Well, there was I mean, no fucking cell phones back then that were worth a damn. It's never. It's been so long off, so why didn't she just go straight to the police? That's one of those things where it's like, you know. Go to the police. It turns into Predator 2. Do y'all remember Predator 2? It was police involved. Yeah. Do y'all remember that movie? Was that the one with Do y'all Arnold? remember Gary Busey gets cut in half in the meat factory? <laughs> yup. <laughs> he gets his Frisbee out, cuts his ass in half. Yeah, she's filing something from 21 years ago. Yeah, it's... That is the crazy part. Well, I'm glad that he's suing. Yes. Know? I mean, because... Yes. I'm glad he is also, bro. Because, like... So, if it comes back to slap her in the face and, and they find out that this shit is false, does she lose her fuck? Like, what happens to her? What happens to her? Callan got the money to, to, to run these lawsuits up. I mean, she's... Br- I'm going to go out on a limb and say she's going to get kicked off of... She's on the remix of Lamb Chop. <laughs> do y'all remember that lamb show? Lamb Chop, play along. Do you remember the Lamb Chop a show with bit. Sherry, and it had Lamb Chop, and it had a the donkey? Bit. and a it- little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and say if her husband loses, she's not getting that lamb chop part. Didn't she die of cancer? Who? The chick. Sherry Lewis? Yeah. This shit what is that? Yeah, that already looked old. That should say VCR. There's a lamb chop. I'm going to cry. I don't know. I'll have to look and check. <laughs> <laughs> Is this? Can you believe this? Is I what, love Lamb Chop. Can you believe this is the type of shit to entertain us as kids, and now kids got iPads to be entertained? I don't know what to think about that. Is that scary that there's iPads now? No, it's just like look how easily we were entertained with somebody with a. It's Lamb Chop. Come hand on, up a sock's ass with lashes on it. Come on, it's Sherry Lewis. It's Lamb Chop. Why are you typing in Lamb Chop sex? I'm just seeing if there's any sex videos with Lamb Chop. Jesus Christ, right now. Come on, dude. You know what my shit was? Fucking uh, Shining Time Station. What are you doing, you Shining Time Station. Type that one in, Red Man. <laughs> Where dreams can come. Oh, help me. What's this? Turn this off. Come on, dude. Not Lamb Chop. Red Man, you're nasty. Wait, you want me to look up? Shining I time remember station. that. Shining. What's his name? A big comedian was in that. Uh, Shining Time Station. George Carlin. George Carlin was in it. It was the train conductor guy. I have very fond memories of watching. Reach for the speed. This is my Reach shit. The- this is my I shit. I have no idea what this is. Yeah. I totally remember. It because reminds me. Me and, me and William are younger. Reminds me of Summers in Memphis, Tennessee, going to the farmer's market with old Francis. Yeah, but this was made a long time ago, it looks but like. But this is what I, I know, as a little boy when it came out. I, I watched this at my grandma's house. Oh, this is Thomas the Train. No, this is Shining Time Station. George Carlin's in it. George Carlin's in this motherfucker, bro. Yeah. I did not know this. I did not know this. There it is. Bully for Mr. Conductor. <laughs> Look at Red Man. Well, it's peaceful. Now he's going to go home and watch all this peaceful. shit. You're going to go home and watch it all? Just use a VPN. <laughs> right. You better use Make a sure VPN use a on that one. Express VPN. Especially in these <laughs> time of days. Super peaceful. All right, you can fast. Wait, I want to see George Carlin. Yes, exactly. That's August. Yeah, you're going to fight him. I don't know exactly where you sure. find him. That's August Hamilton. It'll be fun to... Yeah, they were showing me He's the conductor. It looks like him. Excellent, excellent. Yourself, you know that? Who are you, anyway? That's for me to know. And, and you to find out. out. How did you know that? Because everybody's. You remember this? No, William. A lot of people. You remember this? All right. right, That's Thomas the Train right there. It is. It was loosely associated with Thomas the Train. I love Thomas the Train. Look at you. Gets all mad all the time. Well, that's not Thomas. Thomas is blue. That's a different character. That's Jeff. This is shiny. Uh, Yeah, it's Jeff. Where's George? He's seen better days. Look at this guy. What do you want from me? What yeah. do you want? How, do, you want how the fuck did George Car- earthquake? How did George Car- George Carlin get this gig? Yeah, I don't know. I He's trying out for gigs, and he got this. Where is? Is that him? There he is. That's I him. think that's him. Sometimes with a bully, you just have to stand <laughs> Can up. Can you believe to them, it? Say I've had enough. <laughs> this guy is big. What if I talk to him? Oh no, Mr. Conductor. <laughs> there he He's is. He's mean. Stay away from him. 
Maybe he'll listen to me. He picks on me because I'm small. He'll really pick on you. You think the parents stole all these kids' money? Probably. Yeah, they should. Why does that happen? If you had, if you had kids, well, not anymore would you... because of uh, what was it, Gary Coleman that made that law that the a child actor's money has to go into like an account. Does it? Is there for, a law? Yeah, and I think they get it at eighteen, and the parents can only get like the the manager fees, I believe. What happened with Gary Coleman? He got raped. His parents raped him, like financially. Where is he? If it is he still with us right if it, now? If it wasn't Gary Coleman, it was Emmanuel. Is Lewis. he still with us right now? One of those. You want your ass Gary Coleman's dad? I think so. <laughs> Didn't he like fall down some steps or some shit? How did, did Gary, he? How did Gary Coleman die? I don't want to hear that. Did he? I thought he was still with us. Yeah, he fell. What? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Did Shannon kill him? Did he, Shannon kill his ass? He looks like he got <laughs> lipstick on. Janice, did you put makeup on Gary Coleman? Did Shannon kill him? You know he used to do security, right? Did he? He had to, bro. They took all his money, dog. <laughs> he did security? Yeah, type in Gary Coleman security. I think he was doing... Yeah, sec- he was a security guy. Like, like a on movie Crenshaw theater? or some shit. Oh, god! They even put him in video games as a security guard. <laughs> and postal. Security. Poor Gary. What show is he on? Dinosaurs? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, gosh. Yeah, is that what he would say? Bro, can you imagine you're a big-ass child star and you got to do security when you get 30? No, it'd be weird. That'd be weird as shit. Everybody would fuck with you. Especially if they grew up... It'd be horrible. Redman still got the 911 call playing in the background. One of the security guards is Gary Coleman. That's crazy, bro. That'd be sad. <laughs> what would you do? Shit. Turn one of, turn one of those. No, where is it? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? What job would I do? No, how would you how would you be if you were the security guard and you were a child star growing up? Um man. What, what do you get, think? What do you think? What would you I t- get crazy. If you were a security guard right now, if you were a security guard and, and somebody came into your grocery store that you're working at without a mask on, what would you tell them? I would tell them to come to my office. I would show them a game of the Ouija board I was playing. I'd get them to play along. We'd be playing the Ouija board. With no mask on? And then I'd say, hey, where's your mask, dude? <laughs> and then the Ouija board would answer just, yeah, where's your mask? Or something. <laughs> and I would maybe get a wonton charge <laughs> for fucking shooting his ass. What is a wonton? Yeah, can we Google that? What or- does that word mean? Wonton uh, assault. Wonton. Not a wonton, wonton suit. Wonton endangerment. I want time endangerment, sorry. Definition. Yeah, meaning there it is. According to Kentucky law, a person is guilty. What what happened? Cor- according to Kentucky law, a person is guilty of one time endangerment in the first degree. So when the guy when, shot through the wall. When under circumstances manifest an extreme indifference to the value of human life, he wantonly engages in cut- conduct which creates a substantial danger of death or serious physical injury to another person. I got it. What do fortune cookies have to do with somebody shooting through a wontons? I think they have everything. They to brought do Chinese with. food into it. I think it has everything to do with that. Wonton. I think it has everything. What's this? You rule. He's playing a what? What is this? Next. A video game with game. Hi. Hello, Mr. Coleman. I love Facts of Life. You ever do that Gary leather Coleman in that video check? game? Well, what's the name of this video Thanks. game? Thanks. You can leave now. Postal? Yeah. It's from my mother, I I've swear. never heard of this. Have you, William? No, I see the heart rate. I'm looking at the things on the right. If I see you right. this on eBay, I will come to your house and kick your narrow ass. These are all the parts that he was in, I think. Can we do a Google search of Gary Coleman's net worth at time of death? I bet it was no this more than 100000 what was he in? We have 
What show was Gary Coleman in? I can't remember. I Different know. Strokes. Different, Different strokes. strokes. Was yeah. that a good show? Yeah, it was great. Was it funny? Yeah. What was, was it better than Good Times? Yeah. So what was what was no, it, it what was Emmanuel Lewis in? Uh, Webster. So when when uh, Gary Coleman took off, he was so popular in, on Different Strokes they that another, they needed person. a little black kid. Like okay, if we can get another little black kid that looked young. Yeah. That How's was. Daniel Webster these days? Yeah, Emmanuel I Webster? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Or Emmanuel Webster. Yeah, let's, let's see what Emmanuel Webster is. Is he still with us? I think so. I don't, you don't know how to spell Emmanuel. There it is. Right there. <laughs> Emmanuel Webster Lewis. Yeah, he's 49. Four, oh, three. I recognize that guy. 4-3. Four, four, I think I assume those were the same people. Whoa. Can you believe Emmanuel, Emmanuel Webster Lewis. and Gary Coleman? Can you believe that Emmanuel Lewis is 47 years old and still look like a kid? That's weird. How does that happen? Just some inside of your body? Dwarfism. Goes haywire? Called? Dwarfism? I don't know what these kids have. <laughs> I think with that, you get a big head sometimes. Because I was making breakfast. No, because you were ruining breakfast. Like, how old was he here? 30? 40, 42. <laughs> 29 and a half. <laughs> oh, wow. He was probably like 15, 16, though, for real. See, there was no racism back in the 80s because of this. <laughs> there was a. Racism. That's what we need is a reboot to Webster and all racism would disappear. Yep. Or what was that when you said Different Strokes? We need that. Different Strokes, that was the first one with them. That was Gary Coleman. Gary so. Coleman. So, yeah, I had no idea that's. If, Fun to know. I had zero idea about Gary Colvin. I didn't know if he's still with us. What do you think Emmanuel Lewis is doing? It says that he's uh, still trying to land acting jobs. But when you get him on the podcast, when you're only four feet tall and your biggest claim to fame is a show that people remember once only if they see it on Google or YouTube, it's hard to generate a lot of interest. Yeah, well, he could probably we could probably get him. What on did he podcast. write that, or did somebody write that about him? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he write that about himself? No. And why was he not? Why was he not cast in a reboot to Willy Wonka? Uh, come on! What do you mean? Come on! There's, come on! There's no white people uh, working. Or there's no black people working. At that are not factory. black, David. They were all painted orange. I don't think they were black. If that's you rewatch the show, I don't know. Wait, that's they, am I wrong? That's they, who you look like, William. You look like Emmanuel you. Lewis. Oompa <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like Oompa. Oompa, Oompa, Loompa, Oompa, Doompa. 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 Can we play the song? Do. Did y'all like that movie? Did y'all like the remix or the original better? The OG. Oh, that's what it is. You look like your shirt's green and your your hair's yellow, so that's why it looks... <laughs> Those aren't black magics, I don't think. They're not! What do you think when you get an elephant? Elephant eats... <laughs> Come of uh, that. that I don't like the sound of it I don't like it. the look of it <laughs> If you look You will find A place of pure imagination If you want to view paradise Simply look around and view it Did you guys see this video? What's this? I love this video. It's my favorite video ever. What is this shit, Red Man? Red Man, (laughs) what is this shit? (laughs) Is he painting with his shoes? With his socks? This came out of an egg. Where's the paint inside of the egg? Can we get it upside down? He doesn't like it. Look at him. At all. He don't like it. <laughs> he was angry. He was angry. Yeah, he was. What the fuck is that? 
<laughs> Give me out of this egg. <laughs> Give me out of this egg, sir. <laughs> Bro, that would suck to be that fucking short and people can just do what they want to do with you. Mm-hmm. I know. How would you be? Would you still be nice, or do you think you'd get a chip on your shoulder? I have a chip on my shoulder. I go around punching people. You think? Dick. Dave would be a spinner. Spinner? Yeah. You mean a spinner? You what guys is, don't know. Is that like a racist term? No, spinner's yeah, like it's sex, a racist term. A sexual be. term or term when you're really small, you you know you sit spin them around. around uh, yeah, you could be a spinner, but that means I would have to be getting <laughs> fucked in my ass. No, 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 no. Not necessarily. You Especially you where... Him, you no, if you're a, s- a spinner, no. So show me how it works no. for a fucking girl. <laughs> you, it wouldn't be a spinner. No. How does, it, how does it work for a girl? You would you would have her with her butt up in the air, and then you'd push your dick down and just spin around. You know what I mean? Like, mm. tuck it down like you're about to like be a quarterback in a football team. You think midgets got big dicks like retarded kids? I think they have normal dicks. But it probably what looks do you mean huge. like retarded kids? My uncle's retarded and he has the biggest dick I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Like as long as this bong shit, bro. Would you ever invite me over and we could go look? No, motherfucker. We're Come not, on. We're not kids. Come on. Maybe if we were like 12. Do you like Red Band? No, bro. That was can we both go look and that, Janice? That got to be some sort of sexual Janice? That- you want to look at his uncle's penis? In Georgia? It's big. Are you gonna come along? It's huge. It's huge. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know, but I couldn't go. No, not to look. At okay, dick, bro. whatever. No, bro. But to just what hang about out. How, what about help him with a, a bath? He knows how to bathe himself. But could I ever go just to hang out? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah. Could red band? Yeah. My granddaddy's deceased, so there's no more racists at the house. Was he racist with his oh, white people? Fuck. What would he fuck. say? Oh, bro. Yeah, what if you had yeah. brought me over there? Bro, I used to date nothing but like white girls growing up, and he'd be like, them white "Oh, nice." Girl, he'd be like, "Them white yeah. girls gonna get you hung." He seriously? Yeah. Anytime I got in trouble, he'd be like, "It's because of them white boys you hang with." And it's like, no, it's because I wanted to fucking do it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what was his name? Edward. 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 Was he nice? Nah. Did y'all love each other? Uh, the, his loving style was difficult. But did y'all love each other? It's your grandpapa. Um, he didn't show it, and I didn't show it. It was fear enough. It was kind of like a love hate thing, bro. Like, was it, there just an underlying love though? Do you think, or not really? I mean, he was a provider. He wasn't a lover. He yeah, make, he makes sure you're straight. But as far as somebody saying I love you or showing emotions, what does wife say about white people? Did she bring that stuff? My grandmother up was half white. That's the crazy part about it. So that's weird. So he had some. So there was something going on with them. Yeah, bro. With the half white lady. Uh, you know, my grandmama. Uh, she was stay at home. Would we have gotten along? You and my grandma. Yeah. Hell yeah. What about Red Band? Yeah. She cooks. Yeah, Red Band's a sweet guy. I she like Red Band. Cooks. I think they probably yeah. would have got along. Yeah, absolutely, bro. She was just wearing that wig. She was gorgeous. Or telling Red Band to take the wig off before you go in your fucking house. My grandmother was into fashion. Cool. She uh she worked part time at a clothing store because, I mean at a uh, fabric store because that was pretty much her only like getaway. She was pretty domestic, bro. Like cooked every day. Yeah. Every day, bro. Like every every. Would she make clothes day. with it, working at the fabric store? No, but she had this lady named Miss Harrell who made clothes. Miss Harrell. Yeah, she used to make a lot of clothes for me growing up, dog. Was she sweet? As fuck, but she smoked. She's still with us. She, yeah, Miss Harrell's still here, but she chain smoked cigarettes. Does she still? Yes. Have you tried to get her on what you're doing? She ain't doing that shit, bro. She an old southern lady. She is not fucking with no vape. I hear you. Yeah, bro. My how old is she? Would you guess? So let me see. My grandmother was born in thirty eight and died. I like how you do that. Yes. <laughs> My grandmother was born in thirty eight and died in two thousand fifteen. So that would make her what? Seventy six, seventy seven? Yeah. So Miss Arrell's probably around that age. Damn. Seventy eight, eighties. Yeah. That's cool. You know, a lot of people in the South got this mind frame, like I've been doing it this long, I'm gonna keep on doing it. Something gotta Totally. Kill. Right. I mean, if you eighty and you've been smoking cigarettes for fifty years. Why would, why you, would you stop? Why would you quit? You're 80. Yeah. <laughs> why would you stop? I am going out. I'm going to start going to fields, kicking snakes. <laughs> I 
I got some snake. Get- I got some snakes for you to kick, bro. Bet you won't ever kick another snake. What do you mean? What kind? Copperheads and water moccasins. Co- not copperheads, not water moccasins. <laughs> Have you ever heard of those red band? That's a southern thing. Yeah, that's that's some aggressive ass snakes, bro. Yup. The most aggressive. Water moccasin. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. That will, cotton mouth. They will fuck up uh uh they will fuck up a fishing trip. There's huge ones. Yeah. Red band, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Turn this shit off. What the hell's going on here? Type in cotton mouth. I don't know why you want to see two muscular niggas kissing. <laughs> Cotton? Muscle black gay cheating husband and ebony gaze kissing. What did you search for? Which one of those phrases did you search for? This is his point. What? Janice, Am I in the Twilight Zone? Janice, does Red Band Janice! watch? Does Red Band watch gay porn? Janice! What? Does Red Jesus, Band watch? Yeah, what's going on? Does Red Band watch gay porn? At home? With black guys in it. Just say no. I don't think he does. That's what creeps me out about him doing it here. Do you? Look at her face. He does. Yeah, do you? He does. Use a VPN. <laughs> Use Express VPN to not let your shit get stolen. All right, turn it off. <laughs> Why are we still fucking yeah, watching? Hold on. <laughs> Why are we still hold watching? Hold on. It? I don't get We're it. We're talking about Gary Coleman. We're getting into a nice talk about your. Your grandmother's friend? We're getting into good talks. And you are fucking with it. Jeez, I bought these Yeezys for $1,000. They're too small. I hate it. They're a little too small. Red Band is... And Red Band's screwing it all up. Ah! But if you're not a member of our Patreon, to all of our Apple iTunes listeners and all of our YouTube listeners, go subscribe to our Patreon patreon.com slash brothers we will yeah look at this next poll for next week uh, what should the next punishment be for the loser be either eat peanut butter and sardines on a cracker a spoonful of fish sauce or a dog treat that's what? the name of my band a spoonful of fish sauce why would you put a sauce? dog treat up there bro I don't fucking eat meat no it's a dog treat though it could be a turkey treat or a fish treat is there meat in a dog treat yes how do you know that we could get, we could get salmon ones Ugh, bro, I'm not eating that shit. <laughs> yeah, I love. Well, it's losing peanut butter and uh, or I mean a spoonful of fish sauce is going to is winning, which is not spoonful. That bad. Of I think fish the sauce. worst one. I think the worst one's sardines on a cracker. I love sardines. Peanut butter and sardines on a cracker sounds disgusting. Love sardines, but yeah, no, it's a fun deal. Uh, we're talking about our Patreon for everybody who pledges twenty dollars. We will personally come to your house. We'll come say hello. And slap the shit out of you. We'll slap the shit out of... <laughs> if, you, if you want to. Out of a family member. We're yeah. going to have fun. Everybody who pledges $20, we're, we're going to be flown in from our bong sponsor. They're giving us plane tickets. We're flying into your hometown. He's we, lying. He's lying. We are <laughs> going to meet you at your house. If you sponsor us for 20 bucks, expect us to be at your front door uh, relatively soon. David if- is in a real bad mood right now. I don't know why you said he's lying. <laughs> you are why not. are you doing this? Because why are you doing this? We're not flying to their house. Yes, we are. I didn't tell you about that. Bro. This bone company is flying us to people's places if they pledge $20 on our Patreon. So what about the 100,000 subscribers and we get married? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, right. Why don't you guys just keep the money that the bond company is going to give you to give you plane tickets and then say you went and just keep that money from that? We're just getting bongs from them. Yeah. It's just bongs. Hey, I do have some <laughs> really questions from bongs. the Patreon for this week. All right, let's answer these questions. Um, all right. Uh, for both of you, or I guess all three, have you ever been to a music festival? If so, what's the wildest or strangest thing you've seen at the festival? Yes, I went to Coachella, I believe, in 2012, and I went to Camp Camp Flogernod, have you say that shit. Uh, But in 2012... Camp Flogernod? Yeah. Is that what it was called? Yeah, Tyler Crater shit. Um, And then when I was... When when I went to uh, Coachella to see Ye, Kanye... Uh, I saw people like literally using the bathroom where they were standing. Yeah. Like girl squat. It was nasty, but it was fun as fuck. What's you? yours, William? I went to the uh, Memphis and May Music Festival. It's a three day thing. It's not a spend the night thing. I've never been to one. I wish I could. 
It was a Memphis in May thing, though, maybe 15 years ago. The night before, I had I was drinking a little syrup and had probably three Bud Lights, thought I was going to die. Next day, we go to Memphis in May Music Festival, uh, and I see a guy walking around the festival with a marijuana plant. Wow. <laughs> Scare to- me to death. Red, Red Band with the Woodstock. <laughs> yeah, I went to Woodstock. <laughs> Actually, Charlie Chaplin had a show back at, at, with Little Orphan Annie. Uh, no, I saw Grateful Dead like two months before he died at Deer Creek, and it was just I was on acid. That's cool. And That's it was fun. raining, and I was selling acid, and I had a like a. Were you really? Of, yeah, and I had a sheet of acid in my pocket. And how old were you? Some of it got into me because I was fucked up. Uh, how old were you? I don't know, like twenty. Is this real? One, yeah. Where was it? Did you say Deer Creek, Indiana? I think that's where it was. So the the acid, what year the, the acid like can be ninety four. The acid can damn. be absorbed through your skin. Yes. yes. Yeah. Damn. Because I got I I got super fucked. Like I luckily my friend had a tent and I just kind of laid there and enjoyed the yeah. concert from uh, most of the time on a blanket. <laughs> nice. That's crazy. What's the other question? Uh, in a uh, what's your Y'all's take on astrology and tarot cards and that shit. That's from Vincent. I fuck with all that shit, bro. I feel like a lot of is that a devil thing? Uh, if you want it to be, you know. But uh, I fuck with all that shit because I feel like um, everything is put into the universe for us to use. Whether you choose to use it for good or bad is based upon you. Like guns can be used for home defense or to go out and kill someone. It's about how you use it. So if you're using astrology and tarot cards to like do good, then I don't see a problem with it. What about you, William? Do you believe in the I devil? I remember, hell yeah, I'm a Jesus freak. I'm a big Jesus guy. I totally believe in the devil. I remember when I was living in New York City probably, I don't know, seven years ago now, at the UCB theater, some lady was doing tarot cards and did mine. And the death card came up first, scared me to death. But she was also like, yeah, I think uh, maybe whatever you're trying to do is going to work, but you'll die too early. And it scared me. Not really. I don't necessarily believe in it, but that that's totally something I'll always remember the lady doing and her death card coming up. Uh, Ben Kingsbury asks, I feel bad that William's gal gets so much shit when no one seems to have ever really met her. My question is, can she be a guest on the show? Hell no. And we have fucking met her. Yes. No, the fuck she can. Yes. Uh, Ben Kingsbury, thank you. I think maybe she's our next guest. You're, you're not going to be right if she's here. So no. Huh? I think she should. I appreciate it. Ben Kingsbury. All right. Let's bring her on. And we, she has to wait outside be, after all this. It's horrible. That'd be so uncomfortable. No, nah, we're gonna have to do this fucking podcast from a remote location. Yeah, it, it, no, she could. She can. Uh, what's it called? Zoom uh, in. Zoom in from yeah. her car. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Red Ben and William, do you want, you guys want kids? Trina asks. I love a redheaded cat. You want to have a redheaded kid? Yeah. Do you really? And I would homeschool her and not let her go to school. And I would, I'd get her good at mathematics. And <laughs> I would, I would get her good at science until the point where I don't really understand how the science is working. And then I'll get her a tutor. So yeah. Um, I want five. You want five kids? Mm-hmm. So if you, how many ago, do, don't you already have five? I got, uh, maybe like four. No, you don't. Do you? Maybe. No, you don't. How many do you have? A few. A few? We're talking about kids here. How many do you have? I'm waiting on the um, paternity test. So depending on that, how many is it? Like four. Plus or minus four? Yeah. How many do you have, Radman? Six. Six or seven. Six? Six, I can't remember. Six, In seven. Ohio? Uh, well, All over. We're all over there, yeah. Band, Mostly Myrtle Beach. I love Myrtle Beach. Was that South Carolina? We can hang yeah. out with my kids. I'd love to. I could teach them mathematics. I could <laughs> teach them just science up to a point where I don't really understand it. 
<laughs> Maybe it could. that's what I think about science. Are you good at science? I'm decent. It's been a long. Are time. you right, man? You know it. Whose phone is that? You want to hear a, a joke about elements? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> In a- Did that joke go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's goofy and corny. Uh, I thought <gasps> it, I have a good geology joke. I was thinking of it earlier. Let's uh, hear it. Pie right, pie wrong. It's gypsum. I get it. All right. Pie right is fake gold, <laughs> right? Isn't pie right fake gold? Let me say, I'll say it again. Pie right, pie wrong. It's gypsum. Isn't pie right fake gold? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was funnier. Yours was better. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we're trying, man. We're writing yeah. elemental jokes. <laughs> What's the next question? That's it. That was it. Mm-hmm. Should we freestyle, Will? We're doing three hours today. How much time have we three done? Three hours my part? ass. I got to catch a fucking plane. What do you mean you got to catch Where a plane? Going? Tampa. No, you're not. You when? Right? Tonight? Uh, sort of. Early morning. <laughs> sort of? Early morning. You going to dress like that? Fuck. Are you serious? Are you? No. Good. Yeah, it's Tampa. Going to Tampa? Going to what Tampa? are you doing there for? I'm going to be at Side Splitters Comedy Club. Why didn't you invite me? Why didn't you tell him about your redheaded white friend? Because I'm, I'm not... What's going on? I'm not famous enough to make demands yet. If you could, would you have? Of course. Really, if, David? If it's up to me... I appreciate it. If it's up to me, I bring my whole lineup so that way I can control the tempo of the flow. The tempo of the show. It's also known for its... Here's the top ten things to do in Tampa. I'm not doing shit, but staying in my fucking hotel that they got me. Go to the, the beach. They got me a hotel on the beach. Go to the beach. I'm on the beach. Down by the beach. I wear my. You birthday. totally should. How I'm, long are you down there? Uh, just until Saturday. Then I'm going to see my mom. And, and Miss what's her name for a day. I'm not going to see Miss RL. So we freestyle, yeah. dog. So we freestyle or no? Yeah, yeah. Or I don't know. I'm not good at it. Drop that it beat. puts me on edge when we do it. Drop that beat, Red Man. Nope. This is a fun new beat. Yeah. 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 Mr. Ben's Rice, I am eating Mr. Ben's Rice tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. Mr. Bill's Rice, I'm eating red rice tonight. All right, y'all. What's up? My name is David Lucas. I got a red hair on my head. I'm sorry, y'all. My name is David. Yeah, yeah. I got a wig and makeup on My mama gonna watch this shit and say You oh so wrong I need to take it off I need to sit down I'm in the studio looking like a fucking clown About to fly to Tampa Make a little cheese Meet a group of hoes They gonna say please Come to Georgia Back to LA Do my podcast Maybe Wednesday Kill Tony on Monday Brothers and Cursed on Wednesday we do well, this shit of every day. Day. Come back and get on William's nerves. I come from the birds. Are we really brothers? <laughs> brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are, are, are we really brothers? Brothers in cursive. Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. <laughs> William Montgomery. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. David Lucas. William Montgomery. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. That's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> Brothers in, in cursive.